Hello friends, this is Amit Mehta sir and today we are going to start with a fresh chapter of your Diploma Semester 2. This is a very important chapter because this is the base of your calculus. Calculus is everything about engineering mathematics. So this chapter is the base of your calculus chapter that's called limits. Okay. Now to start with this chapter, let's take a basic idea of what is a function. A function is written in this form f of x equal to x squared minus 4. Let's take this function. Let us put some values of x for this function. Let us say f of phi. What will be f of phi? Very obvious. You put in place of x, you put phi. That will be phi squared minus 4. And that phi squared minus 4 will be 25 minus 4, which is 21. So that's a simple function. You have to put the values of x and find f of x. Let us find f of a number. Tell me the number. Come on, you tell me the number. The best number would be 2. Okay. Let's find f of 2. What will happen when you put 2? You get 2 squared. 2 squared which is 4. So that's 4 minus 4 which is 0. But that's okay. 0 is also a real number. Well defined. So there is no problem at all. So for any real values of x, any real values of x, uh, let's say you put some negative number of x, let's say minus 3. So what will happen if x is minus 3? No problem. Again, minus 3 square would be positive. So you put positive or negative, square is always positive. This would be 9 minus 4, which is 5. So for all real values of x, you get f of x also real. So there is no problem at all with this function. It is a real valued function. Alright. Now, what will happen if you take this kind of a function now? x square minus 4 divided by x minus 2. Now this is very obvious. For all values of x, this is defined except, except, consi values of x ke liye nahi chalega. 2 ke liye, exactly, because you know when x equal to 2, the denominator becomes 0. Forget about denominator, the numerator is also becoming 0. So add x equal to 2, there is a problem. Add x equal to 2, this function turns out to be 0 by 0 form. And 0 by 0 is totally not defined this is not defined or in mathematics it is also called indeterminate form it is also called indeterminate form Konza form indeterminate form so how do you solve that so how do you actually go to do this when x is 2 what is the function this is for sure कि हम x को 2 put नहीं कर सकते। चलो हम x को 2 के करीब की कोई value put कर दे। 1.9, 1.5, 2.1, 3. Can you put x equal to such values? Yes, there is no problem at all. When you put x values closer and closer to 2, but not 2. Let's say 1, 1.5. 1.9 2 नहीं 2 नहीं put करना है 2.1 2.5 and let's say one more value will put as 3 let us see what is the function value <coughs> when x is 1 when x is 1 this would be minus 3 upon minus 1 what is minus 3 upon minus 1 3 Another simple value would be this 3 because I know you don't like decimal values. Let's put this 3. 9, 9 minus 4, 5, 5, and 3 minus 2 is 1. So 5 by 1 is again this is 5. Now let's put values closer and closer to 2, but not 2. If I put 1.5, 1.5, this will give me 3.5. Similarly, if you put 2.5 and solve using your calculator. It should be around 4.5. You put 1.9, you'll get 3.9. You put 
2.1. If you do 2.1, you get around 4.01. Now say this. What is happening? When the values of x, when the values of x are becoming closer and closer to 2 from left hand side as well as from right hand side. I repeat, when the values of x are becoming closer and closer to 2 from left, that is values less than 2, and from right, that is values more than 2, what is happening to the function values? See carefully, 3, 3.5, 3.9, 5, 4.5, 4.01. So what is happening actually? I ask you what is happening, tell me. When x values is becoming closer and closer to 2, f of x value is becoming closer and closer to what? It's so obvious that it is becoming closer and closer to 4. Heck in a. Yes, this is the concept of limits. We are not putting the value 2, but we are saying that when x tends to 2, we say when x tends to 2, this is a symbol. We read this as x tends to number 2. f of x approaches or tends to what value? f of x approaches to 4. So we are not putting 2, but we are only finding that when x becomes closer and closer to 2, f of x becomes closer and closer to 4. This is written nicely, symbolically as limit x tends to 2, limit x tends to 2, f of x equal to 4. This means the limit value of f of x when x tends to 2 is 4. What is it called? Limit value of f of x as x tends to 2 equals 4. You understand? But this is just one simple way of finding limits. Obviously in sums we are not going to prepare this table. This table will take a lot of time and you may have different functions like trigonometric functions, exponential functions, log functions. In that case, we are not going to prepare this table. Then how are we going to solve limits using algebra? I'll give a simple idea of how we are going to solve this limit and get the same answer for. You want to see this? See this. So mathematically, we solve the limit like this. Limit x tends to 2 and write this function x square minus 4 upon x minus 2. Okay, can you simplify this fraction? Kuch cancel kar sakte ho? Yes, factorize kar do. You can factorize this limit x tend to 2. You split this x square minus 4 as x minus 2 and x plus 2 upon x minus 2. Isn't it? Then what will cancel? Clearly x minus 2 will cancel. So now, now if you put x as 2, you put x as 2 in this remaining thing, you get what? 2 plus 2, which is 4. Clear? So mathematically or algebraically, what we'll do is we'll factorize this, we'll cancel some terms, make it simple, so simple that now when you put 2, we don't get this 0 by 0 form. When you put this 2, you get a simple real number. So this is how the limit is solved mathematically. Other than this, there are various other formulae which we have to discuss across this chapter. Alright? Thank you.